All right, 7-8 band. Um, one of the assignments I would like you guys to work on, and it may take a little while, um, but please check in. Let me know that you've got this assignment uh, that you are working on. I think it's very important. It's um, really going to make a, a huge difference in how you tune your instrument and how you understand the tuning of your instrument. And um, we can have all the notes right and our pieces of music and perform without a single mistake. But if we have tuning issues, um, we still kind of have uh, music that doesn't sound as good as it really should. So all I've done is just take a piece of paper and you can see I've just, for my clarinet, I've started working at the bottom of my range. So all the way down at the, well, actually I started, sorry, this is my low range. I should have done it the other way. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to have you guys do this. So I started at the bottom of my range and I went up quite a bit. And what I'm going to do is create a tone tendency chart. And you guys are going to be doing the same thing. So if you're a trumpet, you can start down at that low G that's played like a D. Uh, of course, clarinets can play that low E like I'm going to do here. Um, alto and uh, tenor saxophones can play like a, like their low C or even the low B with the left uh, pinky key. Uh, but I want you to go quite a ways uh, up through the register. So like flute, you're going to start off. You can start playing like a low D or a low C, whatever feels comfortable. But I want you to play through a large part of your range. And what you're going to do on that little chart is write what is having the tendency to happen. You're going to have some notes that just sort of automatically play sharp. Have some notes that just seem to be kind of flat. Because when you tune, you usually tune to one or two notes. You try to find a good spit, spot to put your head joint or your... Um, your mouthpiece or your tuning slides, whatever it is that your instrument has. So I've got a tuner set up here and I'm gonna put the link to this tuner in case you guys don't have something already. I thought this one worked out really well. Um, and of course, when I play my C, that's really a B flat because it's a transposing instrument. And a B flat is the same as A sharp. So you guys are gonna see an A sharp pop up on the screen. So I'm gonna do the first one. try to tune all right and the way this clarinet works is I should be pretty much in tune with my um, mouthpiece or my uh, barrel all the way in so all right I'm gonna start down at the bottom at my low E it has a tendency to sit a little bit flat and I have to kind of push hard to get it to go up so I'm gonna put a little arrow a little downward arrow saying that that has a tendency to be too low, too flat. Next one. That note also sits a little bit flat. And honestly, I can't push my barrel in anymore because it's already in as far as it'll go. So really it takes me, it really just would mean me practicing a bunch to strengthen up my lips to get that note up. So then I go up to G. squeeze a little bit but I'm um, starting to have much better time being in tune so a little bit low but again I have to be fairly tight a see right away I was kind of sharp on that one I was used to squeezing down to get the note up and when I got to that a it ended up being a little bit sharp So I have to relax my face a little bit on that one. So I'm going to put an arrow that goes up, saying that that one has a tendency to be a little sharp. And I'm going to go to B. And that one also tends to be a little bit sharp. I was so used to squeezing down on the low ones to get the note where it needed to be. Now I'm too sharp. So I get up to my C. And I'm pretty much in tune on that one because that's the note I've used to tune with. So I'm just going to put a straight line saying, all right, that's kind of where I need to be. So up to D. D has a tendency to be a little sharp when I play it. And I have to relax my face to get it down. So I'm going to put an arrow up. So already I see the bottom part of my re register. I have to squeeze to get it up to where it needs to be. And then once I get past C, I actually kind of have to relax my lip a little bit to keep it in tune. So I'm not going to go through this whole thing. It'll be a little bit too boring. We're already almost to five minutes here. Um, but as I work my way up the range, I'll notice that I have to either tighten my lips 
to get certain notes in tune, or I have to really lower or relax my lips to get notes in tune. And some of them will be really good. Um, but we want to discover what our instrument it, you know, has for tuning uh, tendencies. And what I want you guys to do is create your own chart to go through using a tuner and to snap a photo of that chart. It may take a little while um, to get it done, but send it over to me, please. Uh, and the other thing is, before I let you guys go, is warm up sufficiently before you create a tone uh, tendency chart, because you will find that after you're really warmed up, you're going to be playing very differently than you were if you were cold. So don't waste your time doing a tone tendency chart if you have not warmed up yet. All right. Thank you.